Hi, Trent Jesse here again. In this uh, tutorial, I'll be teaching you about something very critical that you have to have in place in order to save all of the valuable work that you've done on your website. So it's basically insurance for your website if you don't have this plugin. And this plugin is called Back WP Up. So if you're currently not backing up your website, then I would recommend that you get this plugin ASAP and install it and start using it today. It's free. And it's a, just a fantastic plugin that you can start using that'll uh, save yourself just a lot of heartache and frustration down the road in case your site were to get hacked into or um, if you uh, made just a, a very uh, big mistake with your website and could it um, um, fix it, then you could always restore your website. So this is just a uh, fantastic plugin and must-have plugin um, to get on your site ASAP. So. To begin with, what you do is you log into your site, as always, and come underneath the plugin section, click on Add New, and you type in back, B-A-C-K, up, U-P, or back, W-P, up, sorry. So back, W-P, up, and then click on Search Plugins. And the one that we want is the very top one right here. It just says back, W-P, up, WordPress backup plugin. That's the one that we want to install. So we're going to install it now, click on OK. That's going to bring us straight over to the page where we can activate the plugin. And then once we activate the plugin, there's going to be a new section on the left hand side where we can uh, integrate it. And I'll show you how to do that. So now that we've activated this plugin, we're set to uh, move on to the next steps. This just gives you a good summary of what this uh, plugin can do for you. So you can go through that. They offer a pro version of it. We're using the free version. And so there's some extra functionality that they offer. You don't have to be too worried about that. Um, the free version is plenty. So don't you know, get too worried about having the uh, pro version, but it's really up to you if you have a more robust site and you're uh, um, you know, concerned about having your site backed up and you're wanting to utilize these other benefits. All right, so let's show you how to use this for the first time. So after you activate it, you come straight over here to your job section. This just gives you a summary of the backup um, jobs that you've created. So we don't have any created yet. And to get started, you just click on Add New, All right? So when you click on Add New, um, we're going to create a backup system that will automatically happen from here on out. So you don't have to worry about doing this manually. From, um, from now on, it'll do it automatically, which is nice. Saves yourself a boatload of time. All right, so when you uh, click on Add New, you give it a name, whatever name you want to say. So my backup. Okay, and then the job tasks. This is for backing up your database. You want to do that. The file backup. Um, I'm just going to back up just the database for right now. And... Uh, I'll keep that marked, but um, well, I'm going to come back and uncheck that, but I'll show you once we get to that point. So you can keep it marked. We'll, we'll get to that in just a moment. Um, don't worry about the WordPress XML export. Learn about that in another tutorial and installed plugins list. I usually don't back up my plugins because you can easily install your plugins again, brand new, if something were to happen to your website. So. It just takes up a lot of space if you have a lot of plugins if you're backing them up. And so really all you really need to back up is your database and the specific files. And I like to mark these um, this box right here, optimize the database tables to keep your database, the information um, you know, optimized and clean. And then uh, I always mark this one too, so just to check the database tables and see if there's any errors in them. All right, so those are the very, and those are the top ones that you really need to worry about. And then the uh, backup file creation, the archive name, don't have to worry about that. Archive format, um, I like to mark the uh, zip. So if you move your mouse over any of these sections, it'll teach you more about, you know, how to, uh, what, what type of formats these are. So I like the zip so I can uh, easily unzip the uh, files and use it in the future. And the uh, job destination, um, you can back up this file or your content into a folder. I don't know why that keeps on popping up, but oh well. So, <laughs> I 
these crazy pop-ups here with the all right okay now it's gone away it won't, won't bug us okay so where should you back up your file all right so we're going to back it up into um, into let's see by email all right so that's usually the most common and most easiest way to back up your site it'll just send it over to your gmail account or hotmail or yahoo or whatever email you use and then um, I'll also show you how to back it up to your Dropbox account in another tutorial but Dropbox is free and is a great place to store information and store uh, um, files that uh, you'd like to retrieve in the future so but for right now for this purpose we're simply going to back it up and have the backup sent to our email and it's going to email us the uh, zip file all right okay so the log files down here in this next section this is the email address it's going to send the backup to and the email from field you can customize you know the email so I just keep it the way it is and if you want to customize it do it and then the errors only if there are errors in the uh, backup then it'll notify you okay when you're done click on save changes now that you've saved the changes you can go into the specific tabs up above and start to customize your backup so the schedule at this point is on manual so we want to uh, um, set up a job with uh, uh, with WordPress Crone okay so what the Crone system is is it's simply a system that um, automates your backup process so you don't have to like I said do it manually so once you click on with WordPress Crone it'll tell you the next execu execution time that it's going to back up your website um, so the scheduler type just click on basic that's good enough and the scheduler calendar if you want it to have your website backed up daily just keep it marked daily and this is the hour you want it to back up it's just fine keeping it at 3 a.m. that's good then click on save changes okay so you're good to go on that so from here on out at 3 a.m. automatically your website will be backed up and it'll be emailed to you okay now we're going to click on DB backup DB stands for database and the backup what kind of files in your uh, database do you want to back up and I just keep everything marked all right so if there are any certain special files that you want to back up or don't want to back up then you can have complete control over that right here okay the uh, files the uh, backup root folder is the, the primary folder that all of your website information is stored, especially with WordPress, so your WP admin. By default, it's going to back up all of, the, all of these. If you wanted to exclude certain folders, then you could mark the box next to them. Now, some of the folders I'd like to exclude would be like the themes down here. I don't uh, usually need to have back up all of my themes unless I have a, a custom theme that I've developed and so you know in this particular case let's just assume that this theme right here the White House Pro was a theme that I had customized and that I want to have backed up so I don't have to worry about um, restoring or redoing all that stuff for that specific theme so you can exclude all these other ones and then it would only back up that one right there okay since it says which themes would you want to exclude okay not including your backup and then the uh, backup uploads folder um, I usually don't include the uploads at all because I can upload them again because it takes up a lot of space especially if you're uh, uploading a lot of images so I just exclude that don't have to worry about this other folder right here or this box um, other things that you can exclude from your backup if you don't want to back up thumbnails from the site's uploads folder, then you can mark that. So I usually end up marking that. So once again, I can always upload photos because I store my photos um, onto my computer and it's backed up by another system. So it's up to you if you want to have your images backed up. Okay, and then a uh, special option includes special files. Yeah, I just keep that marked. It's good to back up that stuff. Okay, your WB config file, your robots, HT access, HD password, and, and so forth. Okay, then click on save changes, and that takes care of the files. Your database optimize, just uh, 
keep all of those marked. That's good. The DB check. Um, WordPress tables only. WordPress, um, the database tables will be uh, checked. And uh, um, if there are any items to be repaired, and um, if you want to mark this, try to repair defect tables. I mark that and save the changes. I'll just have the system automatically repair the uh, defects it may find in the database if there are any. So that's a good little bind the mark. And the uh, to email, they had that earlier, but just to recap, that's the email that it's going to be sent to. So just make sure that that email is correct. And you can always send a test email to make sure it is working properly. Now this is a good uh, setting to be aware of right here because some emails don't allow enormous files to be sent to them and just it won't come through. And so that's why there's certain files that we didn't include in our backup. So I usually include this down to like 10 megabytes you know, as a good file size to keep in mind. So if it's usually over 10 megabytes with an email, if you're just doing email only for your backup, then um, I would just keep, try to keep it underneath 10 megabytes and if it goes over that then make sure that you sign up or connect your backup to a uh, backup source like um, a Dropbox and, uh, and you can go up to I believe uh, 3 or 5 gigabytes so you have a lot more space with Dropbox. Alright and that uh, concludes this uh, tutorial with um, this section. Actually there's one other point I wanted to make here, I want to show you how to run it for the first time. So now that we've done this, you come underneath jobs, once you've created your backup, and you can move your mouse over your backup and click on the link there that says run now. And you'll see that it's going to run it for the first time. Okay, 38%, it's uh, starting to increase and complete the backup. And so after a few minutes it'll be all done and you're ready to go with your first backup. And so just keep in mind from there on out, you don't have to worry about backing up your site manually. It'll automatically happen. And that uh, concludes this tutorial.